Well, the UK says it plans to bulk up its naval presence in the Persian Gulf and will be looking for support from the rest of Europe as diplomatic tensions with Iran continue to simmer over its seizure of a British flagged tanker. Well, speaking after an emergency meeting, Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt told the House of Commons that European allies will form a maritime protection mission in the Strait of Hormuz, where Iranian forces seized the Steno Impero and its 23 man crew in the Strait on Friday. Friday, two weeks after authorities in Gibraltar detained an Iranian tanker for alleged sanction violations. Well, Tehran says the Stena Impero broke navigation regulations, but Mr. Hunt denounced the move as an act of state piracy. It marks a change in tack for the UK, which has previously sought to de-escalate growing military tensions in the Gulf. It is with a heavy heart that we are announcing this increased international presence in the Gulf because the focus of our diplomacy has been on de-escalating tensions in the hope that such changes would not be necessary. If Iran continues on this dangerous path, they must accept the price will be a larger Western military presence in the waters along their coastline, not because we wish to increase tensions, but simply because freedom of navigation is a principle which Britain and its allies will always defend. So why is the Strait of Hormuz so significant and what are the implications of these latest developments? Well, let's get a breakdown of that with Alex in the queue. Isabel, one of the busiest, most significant waterways in the world. This is the Strait of Hormuz. This is marine traffic, which uses GPS to track the movement of vessels. These are their locations. And just have a look at this. Look at all these colors here. These are some of the vessels making their way through the Strait of Hormuz on Monday night. Now, approximately a fifth of the world's oil is transported through this waterway. And it was here on Friday night that the latest episode in these this uh, saga of rising tensions between Iran and the West played out. This, the Stena Impero, this is the journey it was on, tracked via marine traffic. You can see here, making normal progress through the Strait of Hormuz. Before this, a radical deviation in course. We brought you these developments, Matthew Daniel here in the Cube, in real time on Friday, as this vessel was then intercepted and taken towards Iran. Now, Jeremy Hunt, the UK's Foreign Secretary, announcing on Monday some very strong uh, responses. These are sort of the three key points that jumped out to us. Well, first of all, calling for a Eurota European maritime security mission. In effect, a European-led naval mission throughout this strait to protect shipping from what Jeremy Hunt was calling their state piracy. But also this, announcing the deployment of HMS Duncan beefing up the Royal Navy's presence there and also reminding people that the highest alert is now in place in the region. Significantly though, on social media, commentators breaking down that this was escalating the tensions but not going all the way in backing America. Larissa Brown is a journalist for the, uh, Mail, um, the Daily Mail in the UK, saying here the important point here is the, that Britain is looking to its European allies, who are trying to, of course, keep the uh, Iran nuclear deal alive, as opposed to going fully behind America with their maximum pressure policy. So how's it all being reported in Iran? Well, just to give you an idea, these are the English language, um, English facing um, outlets of their uh, news agencies. We got one here, one agency describing the seizure of the tanker as a security measure. That echoing what uh, the foreign secretary, the Iranian foreign secretary Zarif had previously tweeted saying, unlike the piracy in the Strait of Gibraltar, referencing the Iranian tanker seized by the British, our action in the Persian Gulf is to uphold maritime rules. The tension is rising in perhaps one of the most significant waterways in the world. And either way, it seems now that both sides will be looking to the other and interpreting the facts that will, in a way that will suit their audience, but looking to the other to see what the next move might be.